feel like doing a downwinder today. First thing I have to do is drop off the car. Time to head back upwind. I don't think people who don't practice wind sports really understand what's going on with the upwind and downwind thing. You see, there's a whole lot of potential energy when you're upwind. And when you're downwind, you can't really throw tricks or have fun. All you can do is kite back upwind. I think the easiest way that I can explain it is if you're on a snow slope and you're snowboarding or skiing, everyone knows you can only go down the hill, right? I mean, you can walk up or you can take a lift up, but you can't do jumps, tricks, spins when you're skiing or walking up the hill. And that is what upwind is for kiter. Every day, it's all about going upwind so you can have all your fun going down. There's a woods behind my house. There's a fishing spot down here where there's just enough room to blow up my kite. And you may wonder if going downwind and doing downwinders is so much fun, why don't we always just do downwind? The reason is two reasons. The first reason is kite porters, getting them organized is like herding cats. Getting a downwinder going is amazing if you can even get people at the same place at the same time. And the second reason is if something goes wrong, part of your kite breaks, then you have a long swim, long walk, and a snow. So downwinders, you don't want to throw down too hard. Just carving, relaxing, and having a good time. Here's the spot. 